turbojet engines screamed to life as the Roadrunner lifted vertically from its launch box, racing toward an incoming drone at 600 miles per hour. But here's what makes this moment impossible. If the Roadrunner misses its target, it can turn around, fly home, and land like a SpaceX rocket to fight another day. In the next eight minutes, you'll discover how a napkin sketch became the weapon that's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. November 2021, Palmer Lucky, the billionaire who sold Oculus to Facebook for $2 billion, is sitting in a California restaurant sketching on a napkin. He's drawing something that looks like a missile crossed with a boomerang. His engineers think he's lost his mind. Traditional interceptor missiles cost $3 million each and blow themselves up whether they hit or miss. Lucky's napkin shows a drone that costs $500,000, flies faster than most aircraft, and comes home for dinner if it doesn't find a target. The sketch becomes the Roadrunner, and it's about to solve a problem that's keeping Pentagon generals awake at night. Picture this, Ukrainian Battlefields 2022. Cheap $50,000 drones are taking out $5 million tanks. Russian forces are launching swarms of suicide drones that cost pennies compared to the million-dollar missiles needed to stop them. American military leaders are watching this drone revolution and realizing something terrifying. The math doesn't work. If enemies can build 100 attack drones for the cost of one interceptor missile, how do you defend anything? Christian Bros, Andrew's chief strategy officer, puts it bluntly. The problem we saw emerging was this very low cost, very high quantity, increasingly sophisticated and advanced aerial threat. Traditional air defense is like using a Ferrari to chase down a bicycle. Expensive, wasteful, and ultimately unsustainable. But Lucky's napkin sketch is about to change that equation forever. The Roadrunner looks like something from a science fiction movie. Six feet tall, powered by twin turbojet engines, it launches straight up from a climate-controlled box called a nest. No runway needed. No launch rails, it just stands up and flies. Here's where it gets wild. The Roadrunner can reach high subsonic speeds, meaning it's pushing 700 miles per hour. That's faster than most military helicopters and many fighter jets. Its twin engines give it the agility to chase down everything from small drones to cruise missiles to full-sized aircraft. But speed isn't the revolutionary part. The game changer is what happens when the Roadrunner doesn't need to explode. October 2024, somewhere in the Nevada desert, a Roadrunner M interceptor launches vertically, streaking toward a target drone at subsonic speed. The AI-powered sensors lock on, the proximity fuse arms. But at the last second, ground control sends a new command, abort mission, target is friendly. In the old world, that interceptor missile would be gone forever, $3 million vaporized. But the Roadrunner does something no missile has ever done before. It turns around, flies back to its launch point, and lands vertically on pop-out struts, ready to launch again. Palmer Lucky calls it a totally new category of weapon that's never really existed before. It's somewhere between a reusable missile and a full-scale autonomous aircraft. The Pentagon wasn't taking any chances. Before ordering 500 Roadrunners in a $250 million contract, they wanted proof this wasn't just Silicon Valley hype. U.S. Special Operations Command has already deployed Roadrunners in classified operations, though details remain locked away. What we do know is chilling. In November 2023, at a site called Jackass Flats near the Nevada National Security Site, Andrew demonstrated the Roadrunners' lethal capabilities. A sentry tower detected an incoming target drone. The Lattice AI system calculated intercept vectors. A test pilot marked the target as hostile. The Roadrunner launched, streaked toward its target, and successfully intercepted it. But here's the kicker. They used a proximity sensor instead of a live warhead, allowing the Roadrunner to return home and demonstrate its vertical landing capability. The message was clear. This weapon can kill but it doesn't have to die. The Roadrunner M variant carries a high explosive fragmentation warhead designed to shred incoming threats. Andrew claims it offers three times the warhead payload capacity, 10 times the one-way effective range, and is three times more maneuverable in G-Force compared to similar offerings on the market. But the real advantage isn't in the specs, it's in the economics. 
Traditional Air Defense forces commanders to make brutal choices, fire expensive missiles at cheap drones and go bankrupt, or hold fire and let threats through. The Roadrunner changes that calculus completely. Launch a dozen Roadrunners at a suspected threat. If it's real, one intercepts and destroys it. If it's a false alarm, all 12 come home to fight another day. For the first time in military history, you can afford to be cautious. The Roadrunner's vertical landing capability isn't just clever engineering, it's borrowed genius. Just like SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets, the Roadrunner uses its own propulsion to perform a controlled vertical landing. The comparison isn't accidental. Both systems prove that reusability isn't just possible, it's revolutionary. Elon Musk changed space travel by making rockets reusable. Palmer Lucky is changing warfare by making interceptors reusable. The principle is identical. If you can bring it back, you can afford to use it. May 2025. Andural releases images showing rows upon rows of completed Roadrunner units in their production facility. This isn't a prototype anymore. It's a production weapon system rolling off assembly lines. The company is building hundreds per year with plans to scale even higher. The US Navy is already testing Roadrunners aboard destroyers, adapting the land-based system for maritime threats. When the USS Gerald R. Ford deploys later this year, its strike group will carry both Roadrunners and competing Raytheon Coyote interceptors, giving commanders multiple options for drone defense. The Roadrunner represents more than just a new weapon. It's a new philosophy of defense. Instead of expensive, single-use missiles that force commanders to choose between bankruptcy and vulnerability, the Roadrunner offers sustainable protection. Launch early, launch often, and bring them home if you don't need them. Palmer Lucky's napkin sketch has become a production reality that's already protecting American forces in classified operations around the world. The age of disposable interceptors is ending. The age of the boomerang missile has begun. And somewhere in a Pentagon briefing room, generals are sleeping a little better, knowing that for the first time in decades, the math of air defense is finally working in America's favor.